welcome back to our channel classify community so today we will be doing the lecture 8 which is the second part of the optical fibers and we will be here uh, completing the topics like mode of propagation types of optical fibers attenuation definition types of attenuation so without wasting more time let's begin so mode of propagation mode can be defined as the pattern of motion in a vibrating body so in a vibrating body whatever the motions pattern is it's known as mode the light ray paths along which the waves are in phase inside the fiber that means when if, uh, the waves which is inside the fiber that means it is in the phase with the light ray paths in simple terms these modes can be visualized as the possible number of allowed paths of light in an optical fiber Though it is expected that all the rays which enter into the core at an angle less than the acceptance should travel in the core. It is not even theoretical. So it is expected that whatever the ray is going in the core is that the angle is less than the acceptance. So it should travel to the core. So if by the application of Maxwell's equation we can get to know that out of the light that enters into the core with the wave guided acceptance angle only the light waves in terms of certain number of modes will be sustained for propagation in the fiber so we can know that uh, that some of the modes can be sustained in the fiber with the help of the application of the maxwell's equation now let's see the types of optical fibers so optical fibers are classified into three major categories and it is based on what it is based on the material that means whatever it is used for making the optical fibers the number of modes transmitted and the ri that is the refractive index profile of the fiber in any optical fiber the whole material of the cladding has a uniform refractive index value we already know that the cladding refractive index is less than the core but the refractive index of core material may either remain constant or subject to variation in the particular way that means the core ri changes can be have a change whereas the cladding will be uniform and constant the curve which represents the variation of the refractive index with respect to the radial distance from the axis of the fiber is called refractive index profile so we are talking about refractive index refractive index so what is this refractive index profile so the curve which represents the variation of the refractive index with respect to what the radial distance from the axis of the fiber okay so basically this optical fiber is categorized into three one is single mode fiber you can see this one one is step index multiverse that means this one and one is graded index multimode so now let's go in detail what are one of them so first is a single mode fiber here the core material has uniform refractive index that means the refractive index value will be uniform here the cladding will also be uniform refractive index but here it will be lesser than the core which we already know this result in a certain increase in the value of ri from cladding to core so as the cladding is uh, cladding is a refractive index uniform that is less than the core but suddenly there is an increase in the refractive index of the cladding so the refractive index profile takes the shape of step so what it takes it takes the shape of step like this okay one uh, like we uh, go above in the stair we walk like step by shape it will take the diameter of the core is 8 to 10 micrometer and the diameter of the cladding is around 60 to 70 micrometer since the core is very narrow it can just a single it can guide just a single that means it can only it can only guide a single mode as the core is narrow that's why it is known as what single mode fiber these are the most extensively used ones that means mostly these fibers are used and constitute 80 percent of all the fibers are manufactured from this 
they need lasers at the source of light so what is their source the lasers are the source of light it is less expensive that means the cost is less but it has very difficult to splice okay so it is very difficult to splice as well as it is uh, it is used in where it is used in submarine cable it is used in where submarine uh, submarine cable system okay now you may be thinking that what is splice what is this splice that means join or to connect it is it is less expensive but it is very difficult to join or to connect uh, connect and it is used mostly in where submarine cable system okay now we will see the second optical fiber that is step index multimode fiber so here the core material is also uniform refractive index the cladding has uniform of active index but of little lesser value than the of a core this result in is the same as that of the first one here also the refractive index is stepwise but here the diameter differs the cone diameter is 50 to 2000 micrometer and the cladding is 100 to 250 here the core material is much larger diameter which suppose a large number of modes as in the previous one there was a narrow core that was single mode can be passed as the diameter is more so even large number of more can be passed here the refractive index profile is similar to what like a single mode here this is used basically in LED you uh, sorry it is basically uh, use the source of light as LED or laser and it is also less in expensive and is basically used for data linking purpose where there is a lower bandwidth requirement okay so this was the second multimode fiber now we can say second optical fiber now the third is a graded index multimode fiber here it is also denoted as grain the geometry of grain is same as that of step index multimode see this one that means diameter and everything is same the special feature of this core is that that the refractive index here decreases in the radially outward direction from the axis and becomes equal to the what of cladding refractive index but the refractive index of the cladding remains uniform throughout here the diameter is 50 to 200 for the cone and 100 to 250 for the cladding here also the source of light used is led or laser and here the application we can say is the telephone trunk between central offices okay so this was a third type of optical fiber so now we will know what is attenuation or we can say fiber loss that means the power loss suffered by the signal when it propagates through the fiber that means whenever it propagates through the fiber there is some power loss which occurs and this is known as first attenuation it is also known as what fiber loss there are three types of losses one is absorption second is scattering third is radiation now what is absorption loss absorption by impurities first we will see like iron chromium cobalt and copper are some of the impurities which are present in the fiber so when the signal propagates to the fiber a few photons associated with the signals are absorbed by the impurities present in the fiber this result in the power loss so there are some impurities which is present in the glass fiber so what happens here so whenever it propagates some photon absorbs here so the some uh, photons get absorbed by the impurity whatever present in the fiber and that loss is no and there is a causing where which occurs or we can say result which occurs that is the power loss second is what intrinsic absorption now what is this the absorption that takes place is the fiber assuming that there are no impurity so whatever the absorption is happening here we have uh, here it is that assume that there are no impurities so now we will be moving with the second law that is the scattering loss so the really scattering when a signal propagates through the fiber a few photons associated with the signal are scattered by the scattering object such as impurities present in the fiber the dimension of the scattering objects are very small compared to the wavelength of the light 
so it is scattered that means there is small small scattering which occurs okay so this type of scattering is similar to railing scattering it is found that the coefficient of scattering is inversely proportional to the wavelength of the object you just need to remember that few photons which are associated with the signal get scattering such as the impurities which are present so here what happened the scattering object is very small compared to the wavelength so the here the coefficient of the scattering is always in, inversely proportional to what the wavelength of the object so the other scattering is what the like scattering also occurs due to trapped gas bubbles so whenever there are gas bubbles which get trapped unreacted starting material and some crystalline region in the glass so there is a scattering happens at that point of time now we will move on to the third that is the radiation loss so it is due to the bending of the fiber beds and that's why there is a radiation which get lost so there are two type of bending so we can see in the figure so when microscopic uh, microscopic bending is what they are the beds with radii much larger compared to fiber diameter so whatever the fiber diameter is the radii here is much larger it occurs while wrapping the fibers on a spool or turning it around the corner so the whenever the corner gets turned or whenever it is wrapped in the spool this microscopic bending occurs if the bending is too sharp then the power loss becomes very high so if this bending becomes much sharper then it, there will be a lot of power loss the second is microscopic bending so it occurs due to no uniformity so we can see the, this fiber is not uniform this is due to the manufacture so the effect of we can say manufacturing effect because of this a few modes get what leaked so which result in what power loss so i hope all of you understood the lecture of today so if you have any queries just comment us down below till then be happy and have a great day Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.in.